vegan camp out time again. We're back in Australia and we're here for the Vegan Camp Out Australia Festival. And it's the very first one. Yes, we're very excited to be in Sydney and it looks like a very beautiful location. So yeah. and there's going to be lots of really cool speakers and people there. So we're excited for that too. Yes, so we just stayed here for the night and we'll be heading there soon. Look at this unreal spot, so beautiful. This is Pure Valley. It's just next to the camp out, which is at the Glenworth Valley. It is stunning here. Absolutely stunning. And that's our, that's one part of the Airbnb. And on the other side, there is a full house where some other guests are staying, such as other guests. Stefania Ferrario yes. and the Bambi. Yes. And many more. Yeah, they came last night, so that was cute. <laughs> Where it's both of our birthdays. Well, mine was a couple of days ago and it's Bambi's on Sunday. So we had a little birthday get together and now it's festival time. Yeah. So Peace. we will see you there very soon. We have arrived at the camp out. We've got our bags out and we're gonna to go to the glamping tent now, yeah. which is just over here. Those rows of tents that have been set up for us. Yeah. We've just got some food actually. Um, you got a wrap. Yes, it was so yummy, but it was not big enough. Not big enough. No. Yeah, I got some Singapore noodles. It's expensive because you have to pay for them to obviously come out and set up their their stalls so i think they you know add a surcharge but yeah it's worth it when you're here because yeah, the, the food tastes so good it's a very beautiful location it is beautiful so many trees around us and birds and so pe so peaceful yeah i want to be out here for at least a week oh yeah it's yeah. beautiful yeah, it's sad that it's only just the weekend. Yeah. All right, glamping tent. It's gonna be nicer than the UK glamping. <laughs> barely even call it glamping. Okay. <laughs> Does it line up here? Is it this part? Yeah, I think so. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, difficult doing this with that part. Probably is, I'll just scan it. <laughs> oh la la. Cute! This is so much nicer! <laughs> oh. oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's actually a really nice bed! Big! Oh. <laughs> In the UK okay, we just UK had... camp out, you need a glamping tent like this. Yeah. Because that one was pretty shit. <laughs> and this was cheaper than the UK one. Yeah. Crazy! Woo. This is how you do glamping! Okay. Come in. Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> caught. Yeah, 
it's beautiful. Yeah. Is it actually a comfortable bed? Seems well, it's like solid. But that's good for us. Futon ish. What is that? It's like, I don't mind. A futon or no? <laughs> oh, it's really cute. Yeah, it's actually really nice. Yay. I'm ready for bed, to be honest. Are you? Yeah. So, now we're just going to, I don't know if we'll spend too much time in here. We'll probably just head out because we've got some speeches coming up soon. Stefania will be speaking at five o'clock. Yay! And the time yeah. is, it's probably about 3.30. Yeah, we'll go And we've already her. met quite a lot of people so far. You get people coming up to you already and it's just began. Yay! So, <laughs> lots of talking, but it's really nice meeting everyone, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Okay. All, All right. right. See you soon. Don't film me do this, this is really pussy. Isn't it? <laughs> I wasn't at all, to be honest. Okay. No. There so was something no. spark inside of you. Yeah, yeah, I think I think um in terms of just I've always had strong beliefs mm -hmm. for many different things, like for example just talking about the environment and stuff. Not that I was an environmental activist at all, but when I have strong oh, beliefs yeah. about it, And once I get it, oh, it's yeah. recording already, girls. I'm gonna so be cool. out there, like, fully. For sure. Oh. I'll be on your team, like, full on. 100%. <laughs> I love it. The only oh, reason I'm not there yet is because I'm waiting for the visa. Yeah. So, oh. just like, if they get me, and, and I'll be one of, like, all the as well. So, it's really not nothing. So, how is it? Like, heads of anything and just, like, naked. So That's my dream. Yeah. So, yeah. So, every awesome. time I see well, you. We can do it together one day. For so sure. For sure. You yeah. hear from me, you see me. Yeah. Like, very soon. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for everything you do. For our planet, for the animals and everything. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'll see you soon. on beef prices, lobster exports, and livestock losses in floods, as if these beings are merely commodities. We see TV presenters obsess over meat dishes in a new recipe book, but then they fret about what a celebrity has said or done. The average person focuses on happenings within the human species, but then blissfully and willfully ignores the extraordinary suffering of other species. In fact, they don't just ignore the suffering, they actively participate in it. Once you go vegan, one of the hardest adjustments is tolerating the moral incoherence of the mainstream so-called culture. Society makes all of this palatable by massaging words that entice us to swallow the lie. We're drowning in a sea of acronyms and invented words and reassigned meanings, an Orwellian nightmare come true. We say pork instead of pig, Veal instead of baby cow. We say it's humane and we say it's free range, when it is in fact anything but. It is a literal holocaust that humanity refuses to acknowledge. All right, it's time to do my speech. So we're just about to head in the tent and get ready. And... How are you feeling? Very nervous. Even though the like this event is like... 12 times smaller than that, the yeah. camp out yeah. in the UK. It's 12 times smaller, but the nerves do not go away because you're still standing in front of a crowd. So it's pretty much the same speech, but I've just added in a little bit in the intro talking about uh, activism trip around Europe and stuff. So I've made it 1% different. <laughs> anyway, let's go do it.
working. Uh, I think so. My work would not be possible without Jack. Thank you so much for coming. Tomorrow, if you'd like to join me from I think 4 p.m. onwards, get your bikinis and bodies on, and let's protest the animals. Thank you so much. Well done. I saw you standing over there like Aiden before speaking. You don't know how much you actually mean to me, like. You mean so much to me. You changed my life for the good. Like, oh, I just, I can't believe I'm meeting you. I've come all this way. I just wanted to meet you. Oh. Oh. I'll give you my phone. Yeah, sure. Jack. Yeah, I'll take the photo. Take the photo. Yeah. Did you want to get in the photo as well? Do you mind taking the photo? Sure, sure. Yeah. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, honestly. Oh, I'm such so a crybaby. Like, for me too. Seriously, oh. even before I was about to do this speech, I was just, I feel like crying. It's so no. emotional. Hey? You're amazing. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Hello. Oh, hey. Hi, Tash. Hey. Lovely to meet you. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> What's your name? Elliot. Elliot. Amazing speech. Thank I'm you so the much. biggest fan of you guys. You guys are awesome. Oh, I would honor I would love to get a picture of that. Let's do it. Yes, yeah, of let's do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, I'm the president of the vegan club at Uni Mel, and watching your speech, I was like, wow. I want more people to hear this and so like Aww. I'd love to see if we could like get you there sometime and like That'd inspire more vegans and like make people understand what you're doing um it's so great absolutely I'd and love to do yeah, that yeah and I think like what you said about like not feeling like fitting in and being like not like a leader type like I feel like I really relate to that and so Aww. I'm hoping I can become more like you and Amazing. lead people yes. and everything so yeah thank you for everything Aww. you're doing thank you so awesome. much is it okay if I get a photo with <laughs> yes, you yes of course I'll take my hair out <laughs> I have my little vegan ice cream in the photo cute. as well <laughs> <laughs> so cute <laughs>
we're at the end of the festival and we didn't end up filming as much as we hoped for for many reasons it was raining all day yesterday it literally turned into like a big mud pit out there and it's just impossible to really bring the camera around when we're out in the rain meeting so many amazing people um, but my speech went really well yesterday and we've met a lot of awesome people here and of course the sun's out today and it's fucking hot like 70% humidity um, but yeah I got a good good amount of feedback from my speech and we're gonna be heading to Bondi to do a protest this afternoon and it sounds like a lot of people are gonna be joining us so yeah it's been an awesome time here good food and people and um, good dancing last night to Ed DJing that was really fun um, I got up on the stage and did the worm thanks Jack <laughs> for inc telling me to do that <laughs> so that was kind of funny um, but yeah what do you reckon Jack what do you reckon good time yeah I think it was a really fun event uh, it would be nice to do an extra day as we did in the UK but yeah. uh, I'm just really impressed with how it was organized how many people turned up it was such a good energy so we're really looking forward to doing it again next year, we hope. Yeah. Um, but you won't be able to speak at the next one. So the following year, ideally, you get to speak again. So, yeah. And you will hopefully be joining me on stage or doing your own speech by then, Maybe hey? Maybe I could join you, I don't know. Uh, we've just been discussing ideas about what the next speech would be. So we've got to plan that. But uh, I'm sure it will be a good one. Yeah. All right. All right. See you in Bondi. See you there.